Hello on another beautiful sunny day. It's May the 7th and this morning I want to tell you a story. It might be a story that you've heard before but I just feel that at this time it could be helpful because some of us might be feeling a little bit useless at the moment. Jobs have been furloughed, some people have even lost their jobs. Voluntary work is on hold. Homeschooling might not be going quite the way you hoped it was going to go. Isolation can be getting us down. And for those people who are still working, there are added pressures involved too. Fear of who you might meet. Maybe you're working and homeschooling and looking after elderly relatives. And really, you don't know whether you're doing a good job in any of it. So I just want to share this story with you today. A water bearer in India had two large pots. One hung on each end of a pole, which she carried across her neck. One of the pots had a crack in it. While the other pot was perfect and always delivered a full portion of water at the end of the long walk from the stream to the mistress's house, the cracked pot arrived only half full. For a full two years this went on daily, with the bearer delivering only one and a half pots full of water to her mistress's house. I have been able for these past two years to deliver only half my load because this crack in my side causes water to leak out all the way back to your mistress's house. Because of my flaws, you have to do all of this work and you don't get full value from your efforts, the pot said. The water bearer felt sorry for the old cracked pot and in her compassion she said, as we return to the mistress's house, I want you to notice the beautiful flowers along the path. Indeed, as they went up the hill, the old cracked pot took notice of the sun warming the beautiful wild flowers on the side of the path, and this cheered its son. But at the end of the trail it still felt bad, because it had leaked out half its load, and so again it apologised to the bearer for its failure. The bearer said to the pot, Did you not notice that there were flowers only on your side of the path, but not on the other pot's side? That's because I have always known about your flaw, and I took advantage of it. I planted flower seeds on your side of the path, and every day while we walk back from the stream, you watered them. For two years I have been able to pick these beautiful flowers to decorate my mistress's table. Without you being just the way you are, she would not have this beauty to grace her house. We're all like that crap pot, aren't we? We all have our failings. And at the moment, one of those is feeling a bit useless. But in the Bible, God tells us that we have treasures in pots of clay. And I'll just read a few verses from 2 Corinthians. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus sake, so that his life may be revealed in our mortal body. So then death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. We're precious to God. Doesn't matter whether we're stuck at home because we can't do anything else. We're precious to God as we go out to work. We're precious to God in everything that we do. So if you're feeling a little bit useless and lost at the moment, there are things we can do. We can pick up the phone and talk to somebody. We can write them a letter, send a card. 
We can even arrange a delivery to somebody's doorstep, whether it be flowers, chocolates, cakes, just to show that we think they're precious too. And if we can't do anything like that, there is one thing we all can do, and that's pray. I know in Stuart's newsletter yesterday, he said that some people had got worried because they hadn't got on the prayer rota. But as he said, we don't need to be on a rota to pray. So we can pray for ourselves. That's OK to do that. And ask God to remind us that we're precious to him. We can pray for others at this time who may be finding things difficult, who are frightened, worried about elderly relatives and ask God to remind them that they too are precious, not just to God, but to us too. So let us pray. Dear Father, help us today to remember that although we're like that cracked pot and that we sometimes leak and we sometimes feel we're not fulfilling our potential, that no matter who we are, we are precious to you. Help us to remember that for ourselves and help us to remind others today. Amen. So stay safe, stay home and may God bless you. Amen.